Welcome to this guided anxiety release meditation. First of all, I want you to know having anxiety is a natural byproduct of our human evolution. It is linked to our fight or flight response. Having anxiety does not make you any different to anybody else. It's just you are more aware of these feelings as you feel more deeply than others. Through this process, we are going to remember who we are. We're going to take control over our anxiety and allow it to flow through. When you're ready, I'd like for you to sit up tall and proud, sitting comfortably, either in an upright seat or an upright seated position. If you prefer, you can lie down for this process, but being seated upright is beneficial. Let's start by taking three mindful breaths in. Breathing clean, fresh air in through the nostrils. And forcefully exhaling anything which no longer serves us out through the mouth. Visualise each muscle in your body one at a time as we begin to relax them. Starting with our feet, take your light of attention and shine them upon your feet as though you were the mighty sun itself. And the light you are shining upon each body part allows it to fully release and relax any of the old tensions which you may be holding there. Starting from the feet, give your toes a little wiggle. Give your ankles a small turn, bringing your attention up your shins to your knees. And up the tops of your legs, the front and the back into your buttock area and your hips where we can hold a lot of tension from being seated for long periods of time into our lower back and right up our back into our shoulders round the shoulders and down the arms into the hands And then up your front, into your chest, into your neck, slowly rotating your neck, in a clockwise, an anti-clockwise motion. And lastly, most importantly, move your mouth around, relax the muscles in your jaw, in your ears, in your forehead, right up to the crown of your head, relaxing your eyes, relaxing all your eyes fully. Your eyes are closed, but they are also open. I want you to know this journey we're going to take, we're going to take together, is one I've taken several times myself and I know how powerful it is. I also want you to be aware 
that you're fully and completely safe at all times. You're always in this body and grounded to this earthly plane. In today's experience, I'm going to be talking to your subconscious mind, to your higher self, to the part of you that acts unknowingly, that is running the show, the part of you that always serves your highest and greatest good. The doing mind, not the thinking mind. The thinking mind is a result of what is hardwired into your doing mind, your subconscious mind, your all-knowing mind. We're going to release anything which no longer serves you so that you are able to experience and live a life of pure bliss, excitement and joy. So you can see the bigger picture in all aspects and all events in life. When you are ready, I would like for you to imagine the most beautiful field that you have ever been to, one which you remember yourself and one which there was a big tree within. Long wavy late summer's grass and flowers lightly swaying about in the wind. A big mighty oak tree stood tall and proud upon the crest of a hill. As you seem to effortlessly float over to this tree, it seems to almost be calling you towards it. You feel connected to it as though you are part of the tree itself as though you are part of nature itself. You are part of nature. As you float towards the tree, you gently come to a stop just in front of it. And you feel the urge to open up your arms, opening up your chest, opening up your heart, and you put your arms around the tree. You embrace the tree, and the tree in return embraces you. In doing so, you seem to melt into the tree, seeming to leave one place behind you and stepping forward into what seems almost like an inner realm, a higher realm an area where you always have control, an area where you remind yourself of the powerful creator being that you are. As you step forward to the inner area, the inner field, it feels even more airy abundant, joyful, even more ambient and angelic. As you emerge from the tree, you almost feel like a butterfly as it emerges from its old anxious chrysalis, as it leaves behind the old version of itself that was limited and is now free in all aspects of its being. Free to go and to do as it pleases. Free to float upon the wind. 
no control, no judgment, nothing holding back or lacking you in any aspect of life. There is nothing to be concerned about as there is nothing to even worry about. Being in this very moment is all that truly matters. What has happened and what is yet to come do not exist. All that exists is this very moment, this feeling of being free, of floating above yourself and outside of your old limiting beliefs. The sun is shining, there is a light warm breeze upon the air. You can smell the beautiful rich fragrance of the wonderful wild flowers all around. You can almost taste that beautiful summer's afternoon crispness in the air and you can feel as the long grass sways lightly backwards and forwards over your shins. You are fully aware and engaged in this present moment. Nothing before or after holds any significance. It is what you do now which will decide and dictate what is to come. You hold the power as you always have and we are here to remember this fact. We are here to align and step in to our truest and highest selves. To realign with the fact and the knowledge of who you are that you hold the power, that you hold the keys to your greatest version and life in all aspects of existence. As you seem to effortlessly glide down the hill towards what looks like a pen, you notice that within the pen there is a flock of sheep. And in that flock of sheep you seem to remember something seems to remind you of a past event. Each sheep seems to be aimlessly wandering around, bashing into one another and bumping into the sides. They seem to be frantically yet aimlessly going about doing something with no real purpose. You stand there and watch them. And as you do, it seems to bring up a recalled memory. Past events that seem very distant to you now. I stood there watching. I would like for you to visualize your body and visualize floating up above your body and looking back through your timeline to a point when you were completely 100% in control in an absolutely blissful, peaceful, angelic and harmonising 
way with all aspects of life and all beings around you. You knew where you were going, who you were and why. You were focused, determined, driven and there was no, I repeat, no allusion to this fact. I want you to look back upon that version of yourself and float back towards it, looking down upon your version that you are at all times, that you can step into at any time, the version of yourself that you have been, that you know you will again be, that you could be now if you chose to, the version that if you chose to, you could become now, that you could step into now, if you chose to now, be the version of yourself, the most powerful and abundant version that lives in complete harmony, bliss and joy. That version of yourself that you have been and you know again you will be, you step into that version of yourself now. And in stepping into that version of yourself now, Picturing yourself floating down into that version of yourself now. I want you to experience all the experiences that you did in that version of yourself which you are again now. I want you to see all the things you saw, all the different colours, emotions around you. I want you to smell, to breathe in the air and smell any familiar smells that were present, really taking them in and remembering them. I want you to hear all the different sounds which were going on around you, right in front of you and in the background, listening with a crisp clarity I want you to feel, feel the feelings within your body, feel the support that you have being stood tall and proud like the mighty oak tree, grounded in the present moment and completely sure of yourself in all aspects of your being. And I want you to taste, taste the crispness in the air, taste any smells which are present that remind you of that feeling, of that version of yourself which you are now. I want you to take that feeling knowing that that is who you are that anything other than this feeling is but an illusion, one which we can easily transcend past, one which will float on by. And as you fully integrate the feeling into yourself, I want you to float back up above that version of yourself in the past, in your timeline, and float back to the present time back to where you are stood in front of that pen. And as you do, I want you to go past every event in the past where you have been anything other than the most powerful, abundant, blissful, loving, cared for, joyful, accepted, ambient version of yourself that you know yourself to be now. As you float back towards now, going over any period in your timeline, integrating the knowledge you now have of who you truly are into any and all periods along your timeline, up into the present moment and into the future beyond. And as you float back down into your body, you seem to
vibrate, almost feel the energy within you flowing around. Feels almost like somebody has pumped you up. That you're expansive, not only in your physical body, more in the awareness of who you are. That you are a limitless being, that you hold the control over your own life but not in a way which brings suffering. The sheep within the pen are being controlled. They are kept within a confined space and environment, each one unsure of where it's going or what it is doing. Stood in front of this pen, I would like for you to do whatever comes naturally to you next, whatever you feel urged to do, I would like for you to go ahead and do. I ask that you stand in front of the gate of the pen, watching the sheep frantically, aimlessly, going about whatever it is they're doing. Knowing in yourself that there is a better way, that everything that exists is energy, and energy must flow. Just as with water, if it sits stationary, if it is kept confined and unable to move freely, it will become stagnant and detrimental to all life within it. Stood in front of this gate of this pen, watch the sheep for a moment. And then when you feel the time is ready, when you feel the time is right, when you feel the time is now, I want you to do whatever it is of your choosing, whatever it is that comes naturally to you. Knowing that you hold full control over whatever comes next. That this is all your choice. I'm only here to relay this message. I'm only here to remind you of who you are. Good. As you open the pen, you watch the sheep, one by one, effortlessly bound out, and as they do, they float up into the air themselves, turning into clouds, floating off into the distance. Each sheep reminding you of an old, past, anxious feeling or thought you would have had, that version of yourself that you are no longer but you are watching that version of yourself and each sheep being a reminder of those anxious thoughts floating off into the distance. Carelessly floating off, each one coming in and floating on by, just as with any thought you have in the future. Any thought which enters is not to be penned in not to be attached to or try to control, it is simply there to watch, to watch float in, take an interest, ask why is there, what is there to be learned from, what is there that benefits you in this thought. Once you have briefly answered these questions, it is allowed to float on through. It is not your thought. They're not your sheep, they're not your clouds. You cannot control the clouds and where they blow. They blow where the wind takes them. Our job, your job, your task, what brings you freedom in this life is to simply watch them, to be the observer, to watch the clouds float in and out. And as that last sheep leaves the pen and you watch it float on up, you start to float yourself. You start to float up towards the mighty sun. It seems to be calling you, to be beckoning you. 
the light of the sun seems to be integrating with every aspect of your being. And as you float towards the sun, you can feel the energy, the light from the sun within every atom of your very being. Between every molecule and every cell, you can feel this energy pulsating within you. And as you float into the sun, you become the mighty sun itself. You remember you are the sun. You are part of every planet, every star. You're part, part of this world, part of all the beings within it. You are part of the universe. The universe is in, within you as you are within it. As you remember all this information, as you remember who you are, the limitless and powerful creator being that you are, you are capable of doing anything and everything you put your mind to. All it takes is self-belief, determination and the correct tools and information and you can and will achieve whatever you put your mind to. As you are immersed in the sun, you are part of the sun. This information is being downloaded and ingested into your very being is becoming part of who you are. It is now hardwired into who you are. There is no doubt, there are no questions. You know this to be true with every molecule of your very being. And as you seem to float back away from the sun, and throw it back into your body below. You realise that your body is still hugging the tree. And this powerful journey we've taken can be taken at any point. Any time you may need remembering, a reminder, confirmation, of this truth, of who you are. All you need to do is close your eyes and imagine yourself hugging the tree. Remind yourself you are part of nature. You are part of this planet. You are part of this universe as it is part of you. As you float back into your body, fully integrating all the information you've just received. I want you to lock it in, like putting a lid on Tupperware, closing it in, locking it in fast, knowing that this journey you have taken is locked within you now, forevermore. Put the lid on it now. Good. Now with this knowledge, you can go forward in life, you will go forward in life, creating all aspects of your life, not allowing anybody or anything to ever detriment your happiness in any way. Yes, anxious thoughts may enter, it is part of our being, but we do not need to hold on to them, we will not hold on to them, we will flow them through, just like a cloud watching them float on by. And as you re-entered your body, hugging the tree, and you step back through the tree, back into now, back into full awareness of who you are, where you are, on this earthly plane, knowing the information you have learned is now integrated into your being in all aspects. Being fully aware and awake now. Feeling grounded, feeling revitalized, feeling energetic, feeling limitless. Knowing where you're going in life, living your life with purpose, 
and conviction, with love and compassion, and with a new understanding for the importance of this planet's very being, of Mother Nature and all she does for us, us her children. Without Mother Nature, without planet Earth, none of this would exist as we would not have a home to call home. Together we can save this planet and we will, one day at a time, one act at a time, giving back instead of taking. I thank you for who you are and for having taken this journey with me. I hope it has helped I know it has helped. And when you feel the time is right, if there's anything else I can do to assist, contact me. This is my life's purpose, to spread awareness and information, to spread knowledge, to spread love and light. My name is Kane Stromberg and it is a pleasure to have assisted you along your journey.